the way I see it in the markets where we operate as being uh, the Deca Bank, um, we see that uh, there's uh, a part of capital that really says, okay guys, um, we agree upon having a little bit less money in the end of the year, so uh, we, we do not have the, the, the full profit that we normally would have, but we do that because we support your um, sustainability goals. Uh, it's, it's all, that we already discussed that in the ASR uh, discussion panel, it's, it's, it's still a lot about the environmental. So um, the moment that they see that you are really seriously taking up this topic and really trying to make a difference in the market for, um, for uh, the, the, the guy that uh, puts his pension money into your funds, um, they, they simply agree, for a, a huge part, they simply agree on having a little less, less profit on it. On the other hand, we of course still see funds that don't care that much about ESG and, um, and give simply a, a higher return on investment, a higher profit, but yeah, that's so you definitely see the two, um, the two streams in, in the market. Um, whereas um, we are very, uh, very hard working in the market to convince people that it makes simply sense to have a little bit less profit, but a little bit more earth in the end. So we, we definitely have a kind of uh, marketing machine ongoing in the market to convince every investor from, guys, please take it seriously. And in the end, you see a lot of, of pension funds that also invest within our funds that simply say, guys, we understand it. And we still can manage to get the pensions paid that we need to pay every month to the people, to our, uh, to our contributors. So let's go for it. And you see that more and more. It's even so, um, I think I may tell that from my management board, that um, we have of course always a steady cash inflow from uh, all the clients of the Sparkassen uh, Group, uh, that's the, the, the company that's, uh, that owns the Deca Bank. And very often we have already in May or June that we need to close down the funds because we can't get any more capital that we can spend for them. So they put so much money, so much cash flow into the funds that we simply have to say, sorry guys, it's, uh, we, can't, we can't give you any more shares because um, it's even not possible for us to invest that for you in the right way in the markets. So you definitely see that there are a lot of investors simply convinced of the fact, guys, ESG will be the next big thing, the, the next 10, 20, 30 years.